Well, hello there, my darlings. Welcome to a new build. But let's build the world. How are we all today? This is part one of Wozwith School of Spellcasting. We're going to be getting on with this. Uh, let's build today. I'm really excited. Very excited. Got some ideas. Got a few ideas from you guys as well. Um... And I also kind of semi got the style what we're going to be building the actual school in. Um, I'll flop a couple of pictures up in just a second. But I think we'll go to a couple of comments that I really liked. And what we're going to implement in this build. One from Warren um, Genade. Genade. I'm probably getting that completely wrong. I apologize, Warren. I uh, would definitely love to see a greenhouse type of aspect to the magic school where lectures involving plants and garden gardening, magical plants and ingredients can take place. You can even have different types of frogs, etc. in this greenhouse. And I loved that idea. And I saw a couple of you guys that breached on that idea as well. Really loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, Another one from Henry NG. Oh my God, the tapestry could be each house's flag because there's different colours to the plum bob, plum bob pattern. Um, the tapestry I used in Nestle's house. Uh, the plum bob could be the heart of the magic realm. And each house is a different colour. I really loved that idea. So we're definitely going to follow on with that idea and give each house its own colour. I fear it's only right. And it would just be wonderful, wouldn't it? Yes is the answer to that. Um, a couple of reference pictures that I'm going to flop up to the side of me here. What way am I going? I'm going that way. Just so I can squeeze. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going this way. <laughs> um, This one here, which is from an artist called Daniel Merriam. I really enjoy this almost kind of Art Nouveau kind of style. Um, I just think it's very ornate. I think it would suit. I don't think I'm going to do it in white. I think we're going to stick to a darker aesthetic for this build but i loved this style of castle and also this one here was another reference image and um, this is from snows cardi on deviantart is that how you say that deviantart i never know oh deviant art <laughs> yeah um again it's that similar sort of style um which i really love really love i do i do indeed so that is going to be the mantra for today, my darlings. We're going to be flopping on. I'm going to introduce you to a few of the mages that I've made. Well, I went into cast full edit mode and completely gave them all makeovers um, and changed their names. Um, and I'll show you the lot size, which I was rather excited about. Here we are then, my loves. We are here in the magical realm. And there's Caster's Alley down there. I would love to give that a makeover, but we can't because it's just, we can't. It's set pieces and nothing more. Um, I think that's the jeweling spot up there. Can we give that a makeover? I'm unsure. If we can, we will. Um, but this is what we're going to be concentrating on today. This is where Wozwith is going to be on a 50 by 40 lot, my loves. So this build will be going on for quite a few parts um, I might try and mix it up in between and do some Let's Plays and stuff because I do want to get some Let's Plays out within the next few weeks. Um, just to break it up so we don't get bored. We don't want to be getting bored, do we? No, we do not. Now, I can't... Oh, I'm going to need to go into live mode, but please do not press play. There we go, because she's going to run into the build site and I won't be able to build in it. That would be very annoying. Um, yes, hello. This here is the main... Uh, this is Ophelius Wasworth. So he is obviously a descendant of the families. They're all kind of descendants of the families that we talked about in the last part. Um, just to get a bit of the lore across. Um, so he's the he's the headmaster. He's the headmaster of Wasworth School. Um, and he's probably, I would say, the sixth Wasworth to run run the school. And he's also the sage of practical magic as well. So he will come into play quite nicely, but I think he's a rather handsome looking gentleman with those bright blue eyes. I just love him. Love the character. Love the way he dresses as well. It's quite cool. I'm all for it. 
Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm here for that. Now, this here is Astrid Willow Glen. So she is obviously part of the Willow Glen family that will we will be building or making their house for in Glimmerbrook. Um, she's she's the sage of mischief magic, and I just love her. Curvy, vivacious. I'm all for it. And she does love a bit of purple. She really does. We'll, we'll talk about more of their backgrounds and storylines as we build their houses and stuff. This is just mainly me introducing them. Well, look at the dirty look he's giving. Look at the dirty look he's giving Nestle. I'm not for it. Not for it at all. Yes, I'm not for that at all, I tell you. Anyway, this here, my darling, is Azura Kudaf. So they are a... <sighs> I'm not, they're, they're definitely not a good sim. Definitely not a good sim. They are the sage of untamed magic. They are non-binary as well. Um, I love their style. I love this like black aesthetic we got going on. They've actually got bright red eyes, but we can't see them because they have their eyes closed and it's very annoying. And I don't want to press play because that bitch is going to run right onto my lot and I'm going to try and build on it in just a second. Um, but yeah, as a, Azura Kudoff is obviously part of another family that we talked about in the world of Glimmerbrook. And we'll go over more of their characters as we progress with this let's, or the, this world even. Because Glimmerbrook has just taken full advantage. Look at Nestle's face. She, Nestle, what is she saying to you? I wonder who he's looking at. Maybe it's Kudoff. Oh, it could be. Oh, it definitely could be. Definitely could be. There's a story there. There's a story there. Anyway, let's get into build mode and let's try and get a little bit of the exterior done today. So I hope this isn't too dark for you, but this is as bright as this world goes. I don't know. It kind of gives off a magical, mystical vibe and I'm here for it. Really am. Um, I think this is going to be a difficult way to start uh, off because... I kind of want to do the front area. Definitely going to be doing like a a courtyard in the middle and having the surrounding castle around it uh, with lots of like walkways. We're going down two levels into the dungeon as well and maybe three or four above. So it is going to be a very big build. Um, but keep your ideas flowing, my loves. Definitely keep your ideas flowing. Now I'm just going to have a little think and think about where it would be best to start this. Okay, so this is where they kind of appear. So I do want like a gatehouse moment going on here. So I think we'll start with the gatehouse first. I'm going to do like a little bit of water in the front as well, I think. Um, maybe even surrounding the whole lot if we can. But I'm unsure on how we're going to do that just yet. So I'm just going to let this all come naturally and see what happens. So this is kind of central here, this central line there let's have a look through there see if it is yeah it kind of is um so here we go they're all on tall heights i'm unsure if i'm gonna do i could keep them all on tall heights actually because it would make it very impactful wouldn't it yeah i think we'll do that okay so maybe going back a bit further here oh excuse you going back a bit further here with the gate at gated entrance um, we'll put two of these here, or maybe I should do them in front, actually, just to give a bit of an impact. Yes. Oh, I do think so. And I think it might be best now to already get the water set down in the front. So let's go ahead and do that first. Um, again, I need to kind of just think about where we're going to be putting everything. I mean, this doesn't need to be perfect in the beginning because we'll just edit it to however we may wish as this build progresses she's going to drown um she should have got out the way to be honest oh i'm sorry and so are you so goodbye <laughs> goodbye forever oh shit no i'm doing this wrong doing this wrong i need to go down to basement level so she's going to fall down to her death instead as i said it's her fault for running off and um, when i was trying to get everybody over here i had to try and make everyone have a conversation so they would all get off the lot because when I delete this place, <laughs> yeah, yes, right, okay, I'm going to frame this in like this as well, just so we can get a little bridge moment going over there, Um, and we'll flop this around here, am I doing a basement, oh, I am, I thought I wasn't then, I was going to scream, I was going to scream, I was, 
Right, and then you select that, you come up to the top, hover over the yellow and remove the, remove the ceiling. Oh, she's even further onto the lot now, the little shit. Oh, well. Oh, well. We can't help that. We cannot help that at all. Okay. So, bridge moment. Let's get this bridge going on. Do want this bridge to be quite ornate as well. Definitely want to see that. Yes. Yes, queen. Should we do a full wide bridge? Even though the door's only going to be too wide. I could make the door full wide. I could like shovel, shovel. I could shuffle these over. I make the door four wide, which would then give us more scope to put a nicer door there. Let's have a look at the doors. I know we haven't got anything. Oh, well, slap me on the tits. I did not think that we were going to get a tall door here, but this door is going to be perfect. Now, we do want a darker aesthetic. It's hard to see <laughs> because there's no lighting in this world. I've not got my cheats on either. Give me one second. There we go. Cheats are on. Stunning. Let's see what swatches they've got in the dark aesthetic. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think that's a really good choice for a door here. I really do. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling it. Unsure on wallpapers and stuff yet, so I'm just going to carry on getting a shape flopping about before I choose any wallpapers. Um, Up here, I would see this as kind of a watchtower. Or somewhere where you could kind of walk over a castle wall. So maybe keeping it a three wide. Yeah, that could work. Going over this castle wall here. And two big turrets here would look really cool, I think. Kind of symmetrical, but I do want the build to carry on off asymmetrically. The higher it gets, I think that would be a really cool way of doing things. Okay, so maybe we'll start mapping down the turrets as well here now. So if I can... Maybe just bring it straight out from here. I don't want them to be too big. So maybe, yeah, I think this would probably be the best way. If I can do this here. Let's have a little look at this. I love building castles. I never really have done a full castle build in The Sims 4. Um, on camera, like on like YouTube or anything. I think I did like... A bloodbound castle, I think it was called, but that was so long ago. That was a, that's a really old build, actually. Uh, so I don't know how good that build would look now. Yes, I'm feeling that. Now let's get you up here as well, my darling. Yes, and I think I'll like come out from here as well with like just extra details, like balconies and whatnot. That could be quite cool. Yeah, I think I will. Okay. And mm, I'm looking at reference images just to get some ideas. But I think a really big window there would look really cool. The only problem is having a window there is not going to really make sense because this is not going to be kind of inside. This is almost the perimeter of the wall. The inside will kind of, I reckon, start around here. Because we do, I do want to go out this way and have a courtyard in the middle, I think. I do think so. Okay, right. Let me get some thoughts processing in my head and we'll make a start on that too. Okay, the more I'm doing this, the more I'm thinking about actually going for a lighter aesthetic. Um, I'm thinking about going for a lighter aesthetic. We can always change it. But just by doing this, I was like, oh, I kind of prefer the... The goldy looking fences and stuff, like the brighter looking fences. I know they've got some really cool blue and white pieces with this um, expansion. So I'm thinking about maybe trying that, my loves. We can try it. And if it doesn't work, we can change it. That's the beauty, isn't it? That is the beauty. Okay. So what I've done up here is just put a few more little ornate pieces of these spandrels and stuff going on. And I'm thinking about actually using the Realm of Magic... Um, pillars the columns because i fear they may be they may work with this um yes if i can do one there and one there one here and one here as well on the bridge itself oh that's glorious and then we can definitely 
Maybe. <laughs> Not definitely. Maybe use these in the white. It's because that's classing it as a room there. Oh, I really enjoy that, though. That goes really well with the styling of this. We do want to go quite Art Nouveau with this. So maybe. Maybe we can. Ooh. Can I do that? Oh, I do like that. I do. It's being a bugger here, and I know why. Because I need to close that off. Maybe if I do that first. Maybe if I do that, and then whipple this around. Oh, I'm still not doing it. It's going on this side, look. Like an absolute tit. Like a titty. Um... Hmm. I mean, I do like that over the bridge as well. So maybe we could bring that moment over there even more. And I could make this solid on top. And put some really cool archy pieces on it. Oh, we've got it sorted. We have got it sorted. I tell you. Um, I'm not going to... I'm going to let that freeze have its own moment. I'm going to do this like so. Oh, I do enjoy that. I actually like that solid back there as well. So maybe I will put a window there just for shits, tits and giggles, you know? It's what it all comes down to. It really does. So I want to make the roof line quite ornate. So we do need to get some really cool curvy pieces and stuff on this. Um, Knowing what the roof bug is like. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Don't know where I went then. What is that? What are you? I have no idea. Can I, like, bring that out? Oh, you can indeed. Oh, that looks absolutely smashing. Yes. That's the perfect roof line as well. Like, this kind of, like, sloping, ski slopey ski slopiness is what we're going to go for for this. I'm going to, um, excuse you. I want you, oh, I suppose I need to make it into the middle, don't I? There we go. I'm going to whip up those edges. No, I'm not. I'm going to flatten you out first. Oh, that appears to be working. <gasps> Have they fixed the roof buck? Have they actually fixed it? Because mine appears to be working. Oh, I like that. Yes. Maybe a little bit higher just for more drama. I'll have to tuck those flaps in now, though. Giggity, giggity, goo. No, that doesn't work. So maybe I'll just do what we had because I preferred it. Yeah, that's better. Oh, I do like that. Oh, I do like that, my friends. I really do. Um, I'm going to do... Can one of these fit in the middle? No. I can probably move that with a tool mod, though. Oh, no, it does. I didn't think that was balanced then. Another one there. And then we're going to... I'm going to whip all these down into this level. Uh, even though I'm making that water down there. I wonder if these will disappear. I bet they will. I bet they'll disappear. But we're going to trial it anyway. Love how they do that on... In fact, I know what I'm going to do down there. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Why am I singing James Blunt? I really can't bear James Blunt music. I'm sorry if you're a fan out there, but it's just not for me. It really isn't. But he is absolutely hilarious on Twitter. I don't know if anybody follows him on Twitter. I don't, but I've seen some of his tweets before, and he's hilarious. He just give, he gives the trolls shit. It's so funny. He really does. Um, maybe here I can just make this flat. You know. I mean, what's stopping us, to be honest? That's not going to be able to do that, though, is it? No. No. What about if I do it this way, then? If I can go like this. Oh, 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 Christ. Like this and this. Let's make sure you can see what I'm doing. Um. And then just do it that way. There we go. And then I can put those flush then as well. Another one. There we go. Well, let's get that grid off so you can see. Oh, I do like that drama. I do. I love that drama that's got going on down there. Really do. Yes. 
yeah, I'm definitely going to be using this fence on here as well. Maybe a mixture of half wall and fencing like I have done. But I love, I'm definitely feeling the lighter aesthetic of this place. I really am. Okay. Well, that's getting a bit more of a story there now. It really is. Now I want to kind of offset some of these sides with maybe just some smaller turrets coming off of the sides of them. That we can like put some really cool roof pieces on and whatnot. Is that right? It is. I'm building without a grid here, which is making it a little bit difficult. Um, do I want to make that symmetrical on that side? No, I don't. No, I, I definitely don't. Okay. Now these turrets are going to go all the way up, I think. We're going to have them all the way up. On high as well. Get up on high, my darling. Yes. Okay. Feeling that. I think I'm going to do a turret on this side. Like an offset turret like we have there, but on this side. Just to bring a bit of asymmetry. A bit of interest. I'm all for that. I think it'll be all right. There we go. Look at her down there. Standing on that ground like she owns it. Um, That's not in the right place. Maybe I can just move it, actually. We'll just move it. Maybe I could do it to, like, there. Yes, that's better. I know it looks weird now, but I think once roof lines and stuff are on it, you guys are going to absolutely love it. Right, we'll get rid of them for the minute because I'm not sure I'm going to do bridges up here yet. I might do. But I really want a nice roof moment in the middle, maybe. Okay, and then one more with the roof turrets. Can we? We can. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, this build's going to be big. <laughs> Definitely going to be big. Okay, and I think at the top here, I'm going to do two... these oh should i do it there or in the middle we'll do it in the middle what i mean is these little like turret moments that we've just been doing so i could join these two up with a really cool pathway maybe there we go across to there and to there but look at this yes yes indeed and i'm gonna get you and copy you to there look at that um nobody invited you but welcome let's get those on let's get those on around there as well and around there thank you very much yeah that's going to be staggered really nicely um on here i think i'm gonna build the ceiling build the ceiling please thank you um what do we want to do here? Maybe like a quite a circular moment there. So I'm going to make a circular platform, I think. Um, so let's do it this way. How many tiles are there? It's kind of six wide. Okay. As long as I know, the more you know, isn't it? Okay, so that's going to count as six, really. And then I can copy you, paste you around to this way, and just have this circular moment around there we go and then up to the top here to where we were there why won't you let me oh, okay don't know why it wouldn't let me then but okay that's probably out a bit too far i think maybe to there yes now let me get a fence around this just so i can see that shape nicely lovely Okay, All right, we've got that going on. Definitely. Um, and I definitely want to have room up here. So I might even bay this out nicely, like this. Oh, yes, for sure. For sure. We're not going to concentrate too much on um, layout just yet. I want to get the bare bones of the front down so I can get... The feel of it. I need the feel of this build to come through. 
Yeah, no, that's better. Yes, indeed. I may even... What I'm going to do here... Let's just bay that straight across there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And make that into a room there as well, just so it's easier. Yes. Okay. This might just look like a jumble of awfulness at the minute, but I promise you a vision is going to come. Vision. Okay, right. I just need a little... I might go and pick the wallpapers and stuff, and then we'll start putting the roofing on this part here. And maybe we can select some of the windows that we're going to be using as well. They may change over time. You know what I'm like when I'm building. I change my mind a lot. But let's get some wallpapers. So I think this is the colour palette for the wallpapers and windows that I'm going to use. Um, things could change. We're going to make this look very ornate. and Very, I don't know, just very ornate. Um, I've also changed a little bit of the side here. I got rid of this here and made it into a full circle. What you can do, how you make a full circle in the Sims with a platform, if you don't know, just grab these pieces. This is what I always do. Get them into a quarter and then just keep copying them, putting them next to each other in the right orientation. So you just do that in there and then you copy that half and give you've got yourself a full circle and you can make a really cool circle platform. The footprint is a little bit weird on it it doesn't always work so just be careful of that but yeah i just thought i'd just whiffle it up a little bit differently i think what we're going to do one second i need to grab that reference picture up i really love the roof line um to that daniel miriam piece of art so i think we're going to try and replicate that as best as we can um going up towards this level so let's have a little go shall we let's have a little go see what happens um i hope it's going to come out okay what would I do for them? I'd probably do two. Hmm. Actually, I think we'll start with this one here first. This one here. We'll whiffle that one into that shape. That's not going to give me what I want. So I might have to just carry it on over this way. Just take inspiration from this, this picture. Uh, that's four and that's three. Oh, that's going to make a point then. I hate when it does that at the roof. Um, no, back. There we go. And then I can copy this one over to this side. We can always like put a roof detail on the back there. So there's not too much trouble. Right. I want this very tall, very ornate, and very dramatic. Very dramatic. Can we get you up even higher? Or is that as high as you go? That's as high as you go. Okay. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I will not let it come between this pet. I really won't. Okay, and then I'm going to dip in these sides. I really think that the roofs are kind of working again. Famous last words, but so far, so good. Roof pitch, what, 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 what was that? Can't be adjusted that high. Don't be such a fucking arsehole. Famous last words. It's not going to let me now. Uh, what about if I shorten you down and do you? Giggity. No. So I can do one. Let me see if that's going to be dramatic enough. It's not. It's not dramatic enough. I want drama. Okay. Well, that's as high as we're going to get. I need to have that shape. That shape is just what this build is going to be all about. So I'm going to have to just go to that height. Oh, I don't like it that high. Maybe I could do one behind it. In more of a... Like a point. Hmm... We're going to be using, obviously, these on these here. I could even do circular ones there. Hmm. The choices. This build is going to be, like, so many different conflicting choices that I've got in my head. Um, Can we get you as high as we can possibly be? No, I don't like that. Don't like that. Okay. Okay. Not that like that. Um, I may go off into tangents when I'm doing this. So do excuse one. So maybe it does have to be in this kind of like hex hexagon, I would say. Um, kind of want to make these very pointy. Can we like bring you out? We can. 
might just do one. Oh, that's a bit better. I definitely need more drama behind this roof line, though, because there's not enough drama there just yet. But I will figure out a way. Don't you worry. I will figure out a way. We can't build up anymore. That's the only bloody problem. Oh, no, it's poking through. Look, I know what I can do with that. I'm going to copy another roof, plonk it on there, and then whiffle it right down. There we go. And then maybe just change the orientation. God, this camera. I hate it. Maybe just bring that down to meet that. Just so that doesn't poke through too much. And as soon as trims are on that, that will hide a multitude of sins. And I'm going to flop another one just where this one is. And that will do the same there. Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Completely and utterly stunning. Okay. Right, let's try and play around with this roof line at the back here then. Because we want more drama, my loves. We need more drama. I always thought the roofs went higher than that. What is going on? Why? Hmm, okay, whatever. Maybe we can do it this way. Oh, I think we might be able to do something here, my loves. So There's balance on either side as well. Oh, we will. We will, I tell you. Okay, well, this is where the drama's going to come from. So, shift and see. Can we bring it out that way? Hmm. Let's bench it there. Where's that other point? Whiffle you up, my love. Um, in this orientation... This may look weird for the minute, but trust me, we're going to do something here. Can I bring that one more over? Not you, my darling. You. Over there. Okay. And then this one on the side. Okay. I'm enjoying that now. Definitely needs to be more um, ornate with the like pieces and stuff. Um, decor decorative objects on it, shall we say. I fear that would be the only way. Yes, I'm enjoying that. Okay, right. I'm going to just try and add in some random roof pieces to places just to give a bit of story and see what happens. Just to give a little bit of story. Just a cheeky bit of story. That's all we're asking. That's all we're asking. Can I bring that underneath there? I mean, it kind of frames in that quite nicely, that little gap. I know it may look weird for the minute, but just trust me. Trust me, I have a vision. I mean, I could bring it up to the same height. Okay. Let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah, that's giving me a bit of story. That is giving me a right bit of story. Flop a bit there as well. Yeah, I enjoy that shape. That's better. Okay. Now kind of feel that these pieces are going to be going the highest. So I may try and do something here as well. Uh, do I'm going to be doing this a little bit off of camera as well, just so we're pushing on a bit further. But don't worry, I'll always keep you guys updated with what I've done off of cam. Right, okay. And then if I can just do one. Right. Nope, nope. Oh my god. Maybe the roofs aren't fixed yet. <laughs> Nope, they're still assholes. Um, I don't know where this vision's going just yet. But as always... No, that's not going to be the ticket. That is not going to be the ticket. We're going to bring you down to us, darling. You need to stop behaving. I think this is in a bit too far. I think it needs to come into that footprint too. Maybe just a little bit further get the thing that I'm trying to do. Can we go up even higher with this? Can you select that, please? Thank you so much. Oh. I mean, it's not what I was thinking. Is that just like one click? Yeah. <laughs> That's one click. <laughs> there we go. Stunning. Absolutely done. Okay. Well, maybe I could bring you in even further there. 
No, because I kind of like the way it slopes out there. Right, I'm going to copy this to the other side. And just see. Let's get that balance right. I think it's there. Yes, I enjoy that. <gasps> we could have like an orb thing or something up there. Like the Eye of Sauron. Yes, I'm kind of there for that. Okay. Right, this roof line is coming along. It's coming along. I'm going to do so many different pieces on it just to try and get a really interesting air pattern going through the roofing. Um, we'll flop them up to there, though. I'm going to shift and see this. I'm going to make this look very elaborate. We need to help. We need it to kind of reflect the other pieces as well. I don't want it to be loads of different shapes going everywhere. I want them to kind of balance each other out. Selecting the Can you select that roof, please? Thank you. Can we go? Oh, we can go higher there as well. Oh. But that's not the right shape. So it, Oh, for God's sake. I don't want to select that one. Stop it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's better. I definitely feel like an orb up here. Maybe we could bring a few more of those like glowy orbs and have a really big like magical orb on that. I think I'm for it, I tell you. I really am. I do not like those weird little bits that are flopping there though, but we haven't picked the roof texture or anything yet. So this will connect the, the courtyard. I'll probably keep in that kind of size. That's a nice size for a courtyard. But the rooms will all be connected all around it. Like, so it's like kind of envelopes the building. Yes, I think I'm there for it. Okay, right. I'm going to get some more roof lines on. Um, I'm going to like, I think I'm going to, because there's a couple of balconies that I really like. I think I'm going to balcony that moment in there. But have roof points on this one. And I might even do like a roof line around here as well. We'll see what happens. Again, we're building organically, aren't we, darlings? And if there's at least one of you that answered me out there, I love you. Thank you so much. I might do that a bit more. Yes. And then pick one again. They don't need to be massive roof lines. Just something like this. I may even change the shape of that. Oh my God, I'm six miles away. Just point the top out slightly and maybe... No, not you. You. What does that look like underneath there? Oh, that looks quite cool. Okay. Yeah, that kind of mixes in with the trim there. I like that. Yeah, I'm for it. Absolutely for it. Um, Can we get a ceiling on here? I don't think we can. I don't think we can because it's not really classed as a room because it's a circle. Um, I could copy another circle and put it up here. I mean, there's nothing stopping us, sweeties. But I'd need to get rid of the, the top of this. Let's have a look. Yes, but this is where it comes in tricky because I can't now go and do this look because it's like a conflict. Oh, I just did it. <laughs> it wouldn't let me last time. Let me have a look in there, though. Can they walk on that? Oh, okay. Well, that didn't work down there for some reason. And I've never seen that work before. Like, a, what I'm meaning is like a roof line over the... Um, a wall over like a circle footprint. It never usually works out well. Oh, well, there we are. Stunning. Absolutely for it. Phoenix fence, please. All the way around. Lovely. Stunning. Yes. So they might not be able to get out here. Yeah, I don't think they can. So I might... Can we not just delete a bit of fence? No, I don't want to delete the whole floor. <laughs> yeah. Um, I might need to like put a pathway in. I know this looks like messy, what I'm doing. If I can just do that, and then I might be able to do it. No. Hmm. Well, to counteract that, what I'm going to do, and it might even add a little bit of detail... Is come out here like so. Um, need to make that room though, so that's going to be annoying. 
Give me one second. I need to sort this out. Oh, no, I'm going to do this on camera so you guys can kind of see what I would do. And then what I would do is maybe get a room going in here to get all those shapes floating through. Um, Bring you there. Oh, God. Why are you that shape? Why are you that shape? That might have been the wrong way to go. Actually, let me just see this. This could be a happy accident. Get rid of that as well. What are you? Are you connecting anything? I don't think you are. Oh, look at that. Oh, can we have a little gap? <gasps> oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, oh, I might do that on the other side. How the fuck did I do that? Don't remember, but we're going to try it. Um, Get rid of you. I'm going to copy you to there. Yes. Yeah, I do enjoy that. See? Building organic cliff. And what I was trying to do was just connect in that, but I don't really need to do that anymore because they can get out here. And I can't delete one of those fences, though, can I? No. Damn. Never mind. I'll figure that out, don't you worry. And I think up on the top here, I do want a roof, but I might just do like a flat circular roof up here. Just so this has got like a, or maybe even like a dome. A dome. Right, if I can push that down to there. Let's get both of them on. Circular this up a little bit. I think that might be a bit too wide. Yeah, it's too wide. Um, and again. Uh, what are you doing? There we go. Okay, to there. Bring that to there. Then I'm going to copy another one. And just let that envelope the edges. But then flatten that one right down. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yes, we're obviously going to be putting some pillars and stuff around that as well. But I do enjoy how, the, see the shape's coming now. I told you, you just have to trust me. Got a version. An absolute version. Okay, down here. Oh, we're not going to start there because it makes it go weird. I'm going to plonk you to there. Do we want to do, maybe we'll just do one in the middle there. Let's have a look. Yes. Obviously, these need to be pulled up pair of knickers up you come darling can we put that there or will that go weird because of the balcony i know it does it goes okay there actually well we'll do that then won't we yes excuse you like why is there a sweet spot for stuff in the sims why do they intend to make building more difficult than it needs to be <laughs> i'm such a bitch <laughs> truth though truth I'm only stating the truth, darlings. Only stating the, the bloody truth. Can we come across the front there with this? Nah, I don't like that. We'll just put it around those bits. Okay. Okay, well, the front is definitely... That's the shape I'm really liking. I'm definitely going to be doing some more work to the roof lines here. I may try and get in a few more squarer shapes through the back and stuff. But, um... I do like it. I do like it indeed. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and get the wallpapers on because I don't want to leave you guys with not much being done. So I'm going to get the wallpapers on off of, off of camera just to see the vision a bit more. Um, And then we'll put the windows on together. So wallpapers are on. I do actually really like them. May change a few things off of camera um, because I know what I'm like. Haven't put the trims on yet. Uh, maybe we'll do that now, actually. Um, do they need to be a... Thick trim. Mm. I mean, this one's the most ornate out of all of them. I can see those like dipping at the bottom there, but maybe we can just hide them with gargoyles. Mm. But look, yeah, that's probably the nicest trim we've got for this kind of build. So I'm going to do it. Put you on there, you on there. Lovely. Maybe all around here as well. Stunning. 
feeling it. Oh, yeah, those trims look nice. They do look nice on here. I'm for it, I tell you. Very much for it. Okay. Right. Anyway, windows. I'm unsure of what windows I want to use at the front here. I really wanted a big dramatic moment with the window here. But we haven't really got the drama that I want. I would love like a... Felix uh, under does a beautiful like double height um, church window in CC. That would be so perfect here. But this is another CC free uh, let's build. So I can't really use it, which is a shame. It is a shame. I could, however, try the one from um, Get Together instead. Let's have a look at you. Oh, I kind of prefer that, I think. It would have to be in this colour, I think. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what one I prefer. I kind of like that one, but I also really liked that other one. Who can say? I have no idea. Let me um. Let me get you. Oh, I can't. Let me get that one back. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. I tell you. Well, we'll keep that one there for the minute, and things might change. Things might change off camera. Can we get you there as well? No, I don't think we can. Oh, we can. Can we do like a triple moment around here? Just for added drama purposes. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I think I like that. Uh, we'll keep you out because I'm sure we could use you somewhere. But do I want to get this wallpaper all the way around here? Yeah, yeah, I do. Maybe above there as well. I mean, this is going off into like Tudor kind of like-esque, but I don't mind a Tudor looking castle. Very ornate. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that. We're going to do lots of uh, decoratives at the top. So maybe I'll move that down. So we can give room for that. Um, Down here, I think some doors there. This is where I'm probably going to put like the headmaster's room. I would probably enjoy that. So Ophelia's room here. So we definitely need a big dramatic door at the front. Can we use you? Is the question. I think we could. Oh, I do think we could. Let's have a look. Do you have a bit more of an ornate one? Oh, you do. Oh, yeah, I do like that there. But again, we're going to be doing so many, like, decorations on the outside of the build just to really uh, get, it, get it looking very Art Nouveau. And I will be going into debug as well for this build and bringing out lots of objects that we can... Decorate together. I'm definitely playing around with a tool mod as well a little bit with this build. I think it would be only right. In fact, it would be rude if I didn't, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes, it would. Can we get a, a window at the top here? I don't really like that one there. Maybe, maybe one of these. Oh, yeah, that would look cool. Can't do two, can I? No, because one blocks the other out. Yeah, I could do that there. Again, we're going to be putting loads of details on this as well. Okay, well, we've made a start with the windows. I think I've kind of reached my limit of um, thought processes for this today because I don't want to be too swamped in ideas. No, I don't think they're going to be the right windows to use on them. They need to be smaller on the turrets, I think. Maybe like these. I know I'm two miles away, but I'm just trying to get the full picture of it all. Um, and I don't think we should do one next to each other. I think they should go around in that kind of orientation. Oh, yeah, I do like those windows. On those. But, yeah, we've made a start, haven't we? We've made a start. It's definitely coming together. God, this is going to be difficult to take a screenshot of because it goes so blurry. Oh, great. That's going to be great for thumbnails. So it needs to be very particular on what angle it is. Okay, great. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this part for here today, my friends. Uh, and I think we'll carry on. Well, we will carry on with this tomorrow and get a few more, get a few more things down. Anyway, thank you so much for coming today, my loves. We made a small start. This start, this um, is going to be a very multiple part build, I would imagine. 
Um, as always, bring me some ideas. Give me some ideas what you guys think we should do in this place. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing them, actually. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, we'll carry on. We'll carry on with the exterior. The exterior is definitely going to be a few parts. Yes, it really will be. But um, yeah, other than that, thank you so much, my darlings. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>